What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here and today we're going to be going over every single mod I have done to the FRS so far. This is going to be like a checkup progress point so if any of you guys are interested in the FRS build, have an FRS yourself and are wondering what I have on my setup I'm going with right now and the future parts we're going to add to the car, this will be the video for you. If not, maybe come back in a couple days, we'll have a car show for you but today we're going over everything I have done to my Scion FRS and the future things I would like to do. So without further ado, let's start the bad boy up and hop on in. Alrighty guys, so we have hopped into the FRS and now we're going to go over what everything I got done to the car. I hope you'll be able to hear me over the exhaust, but I don't think it really comes through on camera the way it does in person anyway, so we should be good to go. So the first thing I did to this car when I bought it is I reached out to some companies for some sponsorships to help me get started. I tried headlights, taillights, all that stuff. And the company that decided to help me out on my journey first was Spec D Tuning. They hooked it up with these uh, Spec D headlights I've got running on this car right now. And I think these are one of the best looking headlights that you can get for the FRS, BRZ, or GT86. Now, the other one I would have gone with, if I knew what they were called, were the Vlad headlights. Those are pretty much the same as these but they're much sharper looking and instead of the rounded edges on the boomerangs, you have the points. So who knows, maybe one day after my sponsorship is up, I'll switch over to the Vlad ones, but for now I'm rocking Spec D tuning. So huge shout out to Spec D for hooking it up with that. The second thing I did was the taillights because I hated the way the taillights looked stock. Uh, for some reason they just weren't for me. And I know everybody else runs those other ones. I don't know what they're called. I'll put a picture up on the screen, but they just have like the little swoop around. But I wanted something that would be different from what everyone else has and look cool at the same time. So I found the Lamborghini style taillights because I'm a Lambo fanboy at heart. So I went with the Aventador looking taillights because I would like to have an Aventador in the garage at some point in my life. So having a little baby Lamborghini with the taillights was good enough for me. I believe they're called a Buddy Club or something. I don't know what the name is. I literally looked everywhere and I couldn't find any of them. But if you do need to know the proper names, I'll take time to look it up. And I have a link in the description of all the stuff that I have done in my car and what in the future. So then after the headlights and taillights got installed to the car, uh, I decided that the sound system in the car wasn't up to my standards because in the Golf that I had, if you guys remember, I had a full sound system. I had a sub, the amp, and uh, upgraded speakers all the way around. So I had to, of course, do that to this car, except I didn't go with the upgraded speakers this time because I didn't have the cash for that at the time. So I just have a 10 in the back, which you can't really see because I can't open the trunk at the moment. but. I got a 10 and then no upgraded speakers and I have this new uh, infotainment, I guess, system setup, which I had in my Golf as well. So that had to be custom made for this car because the size didn't fit for the FRS stock little radio area. But I have that, which is custom, and then there is a base knob underneath my steering wheel if I ever want to crank it up a notch. But one thing I did notice, if you have a sub in your car or just a loud exhaust, you may realize this, that third brake light back there, like right there, that rattles so much. So I don't know if you can take it off. If any FRS owners know if you can take that off, please let me know because that thing rattles so much when the bass is kicking and it, it really makes it unbearable sometimes. So if you can take that off, let me know. But just to let you know, I do have a sub in this car and uh, maybe want to step it up to two tens at some point but i really can't figure out how that's going to work with the air ride system if i can't open the trunk so I need to figure that out first next up i did the nvidia n1 exhaust for this car i just have the cat back system and i think we're going to get a nice stretch of road up here to where i can really kind of let it loose and hopefully you guys can hear this thing but here we go i'll try it out I really like 
like about this uh, setup as well is when you're in the manual mode with the automatic saying you downshift and you just give it a little bit of gas on it. I don't know if you hear that, but it's popping out the back without a tune. That one did a lot. It just all the way down, just pop, 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 pop. Which I know in the future, if I do tune it, can be something pretty crazy and have like flames or something coming out at that time. But I really love the pops. Uh, that's probably on the list in the future. So the NVIDIA N1 and Catback, and that is all I have for now. So sadly with the automatic, we're gonna pop it back into regular automatic mode and go on with the next thing I did to the car. I do have, as you can see right there, the Battle Arrow chassis mounted swan neck wing, I believe it's called, with the time attack side blades. They're like the boomerang side blades. I think that's what they're called. That's what those are right there. And they come in like an L shape. And you know, Sinclair photos, we don't take no L's. So I can be having L's on my car. So got the chassis mounted wing. That's probably my favorite thing I've done to the car so far. Everyone looks because of it. I have my YouTube on the bottom of my wing. So it's constantly advertising for me. So just really driving the car around, having fun is doing advertising and marketing for me. So I don't have to pay anybody to do that. So it's a win-win. I see people taking pictures all the time and with the exhaust, it makes you a head turner for sure. Now I know I have got a lot of comments saying, get wheels, get wheels, you need bigger wheels. You look like an idiot with the big wing and no big wheels. Trust me, wheels are coming. I don't know what brand to go with though. Like I've been looking so long for ones that aren't ridiculously expensive because the original wheels I wanted were the RSV forged wheels. I'll put a picture of them up on the screen right now on another BRZ, but those wheels look so sick, but I heard they were like 11 grand for the whole set. And your boy don't have 11 grand to be spending on wheels right now. So sadly, I'm saving up for the wide body kit and uh, wheels will come when they come. If anyone wants to sponsor me, that'd be much appreciated, but I'm looking into a couple brands right now and uh, with the wrap decision, we're gonna pick the color out. But I've narrowed it down to a couple styles, so we may see a wheel shopping video coming to the vlog near you. All right, on to the next one. So the next mod I have isn't really a mod, as more as like a quality of life thing. There's nowhere to really put your phone to where it's easily accessible, that you don't have to go dig around in the center console while you're driving. So I think for my birthday, I got uh, this thing. It's really nice. Just suction cups to the window and the dashboard right there as you can see and you can have your phone up i can play music i can live stream myself driving which i've done a couple times but i really like it, it makes it a lot easier to not look down on your phone and drive you can just kind of glance over and check it every once in a while so with that being all the mods i have done to the car now let's move on to the future of the build and what i'm looking at getting in the near couple months So I know the wide body kit is a must and they only make limited for like numbers of them. So I've been saving up the past couple months and I think I'll be able to get the Pandam V3 wide body kit by either Christmas or New Year's. Around there, uh, maybe get a little help from my parents with that one and uh, I have a lot saved up towards it right now. So that's a quite an investment. I'll be putting like all the prices of everything on the side as we go, but my goodness, that's like a four grand investment in the car, and then wheels on top of that is even more. So I've been saving for a while. I have a job, I go to school, and I do this as another source of income. So I'm not begging for money when I'm asking for people to donate, like some people think, but anything helps. And there's always a PayPal link in the top of the description if you want to help out. But as that, with that being said, let's go on to the next thing I want. So with the wide body comes wheels and a wrap, obviously. Uh, I have a friend that's gonna do a wrap for me, I'm pretty sure we may meet in the next couple weeks and do like a mock-up design. 
just so I can have the design picked out so when I do get the wide body kit, I'm not rolling around with silver car and just the, what you call it, primer fenders. It's just gonna be black and silver, which isn't really gonna look too hot, but once we wrap it, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll make a video explaining the whole wrap process and what we're gonna decide. And then with the wrap comes the color of the wheels. Now for the wheels, I haven't decided, as I said earlier, I've been looking around, hopefully gonna get a sponsorship for those. Uh, I've been looking like BCG Forge or BC Forge, uh, BBS, maybe a couple Boston. I've been talking to a couple people there. So we'll see. Wheels are pretty expensive though, so a sponsorship would be nice, but I'll take whatever I can get at this point. All right, let's go on to the next thing. So now that we've covered wrap, wide body, wheels, all that good stuff that'll go with the wing now we get to pick uh finish the exhaust so for the frs i've been doing a lot of exhaust research and instead of a down pipe this car has the headers a front pipe and a over pipe that connects to the cat back so i'm thinking of getting tome unequal length catless headers and then i don't really care what front pipe and over pipe maybe like a burke one that's the one that tg hunt has and his car sounds pretty dang sweet. So probably a Tome Catless unequal length header to get the Subi rumble I desire. And that actually increases power a lot as well to fix that little torque dip that the FRSs have. So Tome unequal length headers, Catless of course, a Catless front pipe with a resonator so it doesn't drone and then whatever over pipe I can get for a good price really. That doesn't matter. But TJ Hamba is a Burke I believe so we'll probably go with that. And then the exhaust setup will be finally complete and this car will look good and sound amazing so i'm excited for that then once the exhaust is done we will have to tune it so the car doesn't freak out that it doesn't have any cats anymore and you know what that means boys we are going to snap crackle pop and shoot massive flames um i'm gonna get a open flash tablet i'm pretty sure so i'll be able to change up what i'm doing whenever i'm rolling around but i'm not exactly too sure how tuning works but I would like a mode to where it's just normal driving mode, then a snap, crackle, pop mode with flames and all that stuff, and then fast boy, which uh, I think there's a flex fuel system I can get for the car as well, which will allow it to run on E85 as well as 93 pump gas. So I'm excited for that one. And it'll give us a little bit of diversity, and whenever we want to switch it up, we can so there's a lot of E85 around here as well, so there won't be too much like trying to find a station to fill up at, which which is very good. So I think we're gonna go with um I forget what it's called. Delicious tuning. I've heard they have a couple good kits as well. So we'll pick one of theirs and uh roll with it from there. I'm excited. And then pretty much all of the exterior things will be done for the car. Um then we'll have to probably go into the engine stuff because everyone's like why do you not go for power first well to answer everyone's questions this car i know from the fact from when i bought it this is not a fast car and i'm not going to try to make it a super duper fast car if it's not going to be fast in the first place so yeah i may do a couple things here and there and then in the end maybe go with like a turbo setup because superchargers on these cars aren't really my cup of tea. I prefer to have like the turbo sound when you're going. I love that thing. So we'll just see. Maybe a turbo setup, maybe an engine swap. I'd really like to see that in the future. Maybe throw an LS in this thing. I was watching a couple of videos last night of the LS swapped FRSs and oh my God, that is crazy. But of course, all that just costs money. So we'll see what the future has to offer for the channel. And if we do good a couple months, then we may drop an LS in this bad boy. But until then, maybe just like a couple things like air filter, uh, I don't know. What else is engine stuff? Just air intake? That's really it. How could I forget? I need to tint the windows as well. And I want to get a couple more Sinclair Photo stickers made because I now I think have a sticker guy. So if you want the Sinclair Photo sticker that I have right there, the cursive lettering, that's my favorite one that we have right now. Uh, hit me up and I'll try to get you guys some in the near future but I think that is all and for the outside as well may do a carbon steering wheel a couple interior things but not really too much I want race seats race harnesses but that all just take time hope you guys are excited for the future of this build I know I am and just understand it all takes time and money which sadly doesn't grow on trees or else this car would look absolutely sick right now 
But if you did enjoy this video and are excited for the future of the FRS build, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or have an FRS. We're all one big family here. Follow me on Instagram. I follow everyone with an FRS back. Check out their builds and hopefully get some inspiration for the future of mine. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.